Mr. Telgunka. Uh, on the onset of the uh, decision with the ABCC to deny or uphold the town decision, what, what we did do is, was we met with various town departments to make sure that going forward we were, we were in, in, in the regulations of the town. Well, what, what does the town want? What does the town departments expect from us? And how are we going to operate under, under the town code and make sure that we're in compliance with everybody? Uh, I've met with Heidi from the CPC shown her drawings of the restaurant, the, uh, the boundaries, the, the, the property boundaries of the restaurant. And uh, we have a letter, my attorney has a letter from, from, from Heidi saying that, that they signed off on any parking insurance or any issues that, that may have, anybody may have had with, uh, with the restaurant. I also met on site with, uh, with building inspector Jim Ticola as well as, um, uh, oh, well, I, I met with Jim Nicole on, on site and, uh, and Scott Tilton at the same time, and we went over the parking reconfiguration in front of the building. Whereas previously, uh, the, the, the police department, uh, Sergeant Romeo had wanted us to angle park in front of the restaurant, which is what we started doing when we had, uh, had our, our parking lot resurfaced and, and professionally restriped. We, we added the angle parking in front of the restaurant. Uh, town administrator gave me a call and asked me to take those lines out because they weren't legal and, uh, and take down my compact parking only signs, which we had done. It took a minute to get rid of lines. It took me a long time to get them back. So, <coughs> uh, after meeting with Scott Tilton, we went over uh, I think I think we met four or five times in front of the building and in such in the police department itself uh, to go over the parking in front of the building, to make sure that everything conforms with public safety. His agreement was that we would go instead of angle parking to parallel parking, it's a safer way for the public to enter and exit the establishment. Uh, my feeling was that, uh, honestly, it's going to hurt my business a little bit because now I have a little less time. And we, we, we failed to strike an extra three spots in our parking spot, in our, in our parking lot. And we needed to take them back. So we, we took that back. So we actually lost no parking, which was actually our benefit, which was a good thing. But we were working directly with the police department, the safety officer, at all times, four meetings. Um, and, and we added we added 800 watts of halogen light up on the pole which we're getting light installed. Thank you. Now, before we get started, I just want to uh, uh, just go through the uh, uh, the information that uh, we normally get uh, on any application. This is a respondent from the Conservation Committee. And, uh, so basically, it said all permits to the above reference business establishment have been issued and signed off on. It's also been signed off on by the CPC uh, with a, a recommendations of the safety officer on street parking be implemented. And uh, building inspector signed off on it. Finance uh, has noted that there was a payment due of $117.20. I don't know whether that's been paid or not. That's been paid. Uh, <coughs> Fire Department has signed off on it. Health Department has signed off on it. Uh, police, there is a report. Uh, Mr. Romeo is here, and I'll ask him to elaborate on the report. Mr. Romeo. Good evening, members of the board. Um, here on behalf of uh, Chief Nolan, asked me to be here this evening regarding uh, the application of uh, gatherings for the uh, one license. Um, I believe you have a copy of the Chief's cover letter uh, indicating uh, the 
draft provision concerns that were quoted in the original April letter indicating all the safety concerns on the initial site visit. Subsequent uh, to the ABC finding, I issued a, a subsequent report indicating that I had observed some improvements at the site, including lighting, um, but there were still several unanswered questions that were <coughs> Initial case report that has not been addressed. Uh, the conclusion of the chief's uh, cover letter, as you can see before you, uh, he has indicated that there are still significant issues regarding public safety and the quality of life in the neighborhood that prohibits the chief from supporting the applicant's request at this time. <coughs> Questions? Good evening, Sergeant. Uh, in your report dated April 8th, you listed several site recommendations regardless of whether or not the applicant received the permit and also several site recommendations if they did receive uh, the license. Can you tell us which ones have been addressed or which ones have uh, not just, been addressed? Yeah, sure. just, just first hand, and just um, not in, in official capacity, I, I, I haven't been there officially. Uh, just as a resident of town and seeing the establishment. Uh, I, can, I know well, the, uh, the lighting is vastly improving um, on site. Off site, there's been no modifications of off site, or any proposed off site location. Um, so that was initially part of the applicant's request, was there was any <coughs> off site location. I don't know if that still exists or not. Off site parking locations, you're speaking of? Yes. I know that the lighting was increased, and I know initially we had addressed the parking situation in front of the establishment. And just so the board realizes that this was all brought about, not as a proactive step in the police department, but as a result of the applicant requesting an alcohol license, which is why we did a traffic study and a safety study in the area. Initially, we looked at the parking spaces out front as a, a huge concern when you add alcohol into the mix. Initially, not seeing a certified plot plan or an engineer study regarding the number of spots or even where the boundary lines were for the establishment, my initial thought was to angle park to increase safety. Subsequent to that, I know Austin Tilton actually only made one site visit to the establishment. He has, he has given me a report on that. And he indicates that he saw a state Massachusetts plan uh, during the reconstruction of Route 67, and that the property line is actually to the curb in front of the establishment. <coughs> Based on that information, none of the parking spaces, whether they're parallel parking, angle parking, are owned by the Mills Reynolds or the uh, property owner. They're owned by the town or the state. We wouldn't be recommending any parking because it's not even owned by the owner. That's a change from the April 8th report. Is that because North Reading doesn't have any on-street parking? Is that the reason for that? Yes. Um, there were a, a numerous other items in the initial report dated April 8th regarding. Do you have that with you so you know what I'm referring to? Do you have a copy of it? Okay. Numerous other issues. Uh, once again, the, uh, my recommendation initially uh, was to have it go to CPC. And the reason why I'd like it to go to CPC was that at least I could have someone that knows about parking lot design and what's going to be required size wise, configuration wise, or what will work would be someone that deals with it all the time, not me. I did speak to Heidi. Did I say conservation? No. It's safe. It's safe. It's safe. It's You're all right. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, she, she informed me that it's not under her jurisdiction because it did not change. The footprint of the building didn't change. It's just its use. Um, I wasn't aware of that. But based on that, Police department has no information regarding parking at all. In, in, in other words, I have no engineer study, I have no
no plot plan. I have no idea where the pocket spaces are. Uh, if they're the standard, town standard, state standard, I have no idea. Because we would never do that. There was a uh, certified engineer study on the pocket. So I, I have no idea how many spots are lot and how many illegal and how many illegal. Was the applicant requested to provide that? By yeah, the you are uh, uh, Officer I'm Tilton. Not sure, but I, I did reference that in my report to the chief. Uh, I believe two or three years ago. Was the applicant aware of that before this evening? I, I don't. <coughs> are you finished? Sean, I think you asked a question. Oh. Yeah, I, if you can just run through that list of bullets that you had on your April eighth report and just point out which ones have or have not been addressed. The, the, only, the only ones that I know of, I know that the lot has been restriped. I, I do not know to what standard. Um, I know that the parking lot is, has been lit to uh, a level that I think is quite satisfactory um, at night. The, the, the site itself, nothing, nothing <coughs> off-site. Um, Off-site, are you speaking of in, in the gas station or in the parking spots that are adjacent near the residential buildings? Well, I know during the initial uh, request for the full liquor license or for the ABC here, the uh, council for the applicant has expressed that there was an agreed upon off-site location for parking. Uh, that has never been addressed. I don't know what the, what the status of that is. I, I yeah, I didn't hear it tonight from the applicant either. It sounds like they've... That is not it's not an issue. If that's not an issue, then that would come off my list, but right. I'm, I'm not sure. Sure. Who's waiting for who here? <laughs> just waiting. If you can go <laughs> bullet by bullet, just tell me. Just, 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 just tell me. Just go bullet by bullet. I think it'd be easier. Um, just tell me what has or has not been addressed. Once again, the lighting, the outside location, outside parking locations. Um, the, the signage on the, on the uh, off-site location, the signage on the, road, the signage on the roadway, uh, those have not been addressed. No signage has been established. No. Uh, once again, new, new to the, maybe new to the applicants and council is the recommendation through the safety officer and myself of the elimination of the on-street parking, which would incorporate the proposed three spots in front of the center. <coughs> and once again, that's based on that's property not owned by the. Uh, and you say, and you say that was referenced in a plan that Officer Tilton had seen when the road construction was ongoing. Uh, Officer Tilton informed me that he was presented with a plan by the applicant that showed. Parking delineations, and that those that granite curbing is actually where the parking line is. So, if you went outside the granite curbing, it would not be the applicant or the one property. I thought you said earlier it had something to do with something Officer Tilton had seen uh, the during the construction the, phase no, of no, 60. No, excuse me, it wasn't through the construction phase, it was the construction documents that Mr. Dubreco presented. Construction documents of the location of Route 62. Route 62. <laughs> Mr. Delaney, any other? I'm sorry, sorry. You're all set. You want to continue, or are you done? Um, Sean's done. I'm done. <laughs> For now. Miss uh, Leo. Uh, <coughs> in the letter dated uh, uh, the night that we. In uh, the part where you said that these improvements have not been addressed through the police department, is that a mandatory process? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to plead ignorance on that. 